In this demo, I will show you how you can configure IntelliTrace to work with your unit tests. So first, let's get started with a basic unit test in my tip calculator application. So for that, I already created a few tests, um, a few simple tests that I have. For example, I have the init test. Can I instantiate uh, the tip calculator uh, business layer? Yes or no. The second one is, can I calculate a tip for the Netherlands? Yes or no. Um, and I have here a test method get countries and I have the calculate tip number of flies um, and what I will do is I will just have a, a test run as we would have it um, yeah, normally without any additional configuration. Now what you see is that my test run over here already showed that I have one failed test and when I go to the test de uh, run details you'll see that I do get the basic error uh, report why the test failed because I get minus 20 instead of the expected 1.98 um, and you see the error stack trace and now I can just click this file and go right to the statement where stuff went wrong but what went wrong what actually happened behind the scenes we don't know so now I um, the best of the the, the way uh, you can reproduce here is now go F9 and start uh, a test run over here in debug mode. Now let's do it a different way and let's see if we can enable IntelliTrace so that we can just dive into the issue right away and see what might have happened uh, with our unit tests. Now like I showed you in the slides you can go to the test menu and in the test menu we have uh, the notion of the test settings files which you we can edit. First of all, let me show you that we have select active test settings and this, the active test setting now is the local test settings. Okay, So I will go to edit test settings, local test settings. In the local test settings, I will select data and diagnostics. Now here you see that we have a whole set of options available that we can select. And what I will do is I will just enable IntelliTrace here. Now remember that out of the box the configuration of IntelliTrace will be events data only and we would like to capture the calls information as well. So for that I will go to the configure dialog and you now see that we have a similar configuration dialog as, as the one that you have within Visual Studio for just your F5 debug experience. So here what I will do is I will set it to IntelliTrace events and call information so that I do get the call information um, when something fails. Here you can see that I can dive into the modules again and see uh, and here I could set it uh, for example to only um, get to my business layer uh, data and you see that out of the box the Microsoft stuff is excluded. Okay, uh, here you have the advanced where we can select the limit of the, the log files uh, and here is where we can select all the events that are useful for us um, and I will just leave that unaltered at this, uh, at this moment. Okay, so now we configured IntelliTrace and we set it to be enabled within a test run. So when I click apply, close this and when I now run a unit test again, run tests, you see that we do have a little delay now uh, because, uh, well, IntelliTrace needs to get started um, and doing the logging behind uh, the scenes. Now we see that we have the failed unit test again. And when I right click here on view test results details, you now see that we still have uh, the line work stuff failed, but we also have this iTrace file. Now, when I click this iTrace file, you will see that I get a summary page and within the summary page I can go to for example the ex exception data and I will show you what the other stuff will do uh, when we take a look at for example when iTrace files come from a test environment uh, but in this particular case we are interested in uh, exception data and we see here that an insertion failed on the expected minus 20. Now what we can do next is say, okay, I would like to start debugging. And now when I click start debugging, you see right away that we have all the events data over here again. And you see that we are at the R equal at this uh, moment. Now what we need to do is we need to click this button over here and say set debugger context here. And this now gives us the option to go back and forward in time. 
So now what I can do is just go one step forward and do a step in. And here I can now see what actually happened uh, when I did a call to calculate tip. And you see that the country value has been captured, the bill amount has been captured, and you can also use the locals window to see what has been captured. And you see that the number of flies was one over here. Well, for of course, this example is very simple because, well, normally you don't uh, mention where the bugs are in your code, but you see here that because I entered number of flies equals one, I will return uh, the minus 20 value. And you can very easily, easily see now that the, the, the value of number of flies is causing uh, this problem in this code. And you see that I didn't have to start a debug session uh, at all, a, a live debug session at all. But I could just start with the iTrace file. In the overview file, uh, just have a look at what might have went wrong. And from there, say, I would like to start a debugging session and then dive into IntelliTrace right away.